Good morning friends. Welcome back to Pannika's tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed what is the purpose of data type, how the data types are broadly classified into three types such as primitive data types. We have discussed about the user defined data types and derived data types. And the primitive data types is again broadly classified into four types such as int to store the integer constants, float to store the real constants and char to store the character constants and void which does not store anything. Okay, so and even I have discussed about the int such as short int, long int, int, what is the memory will be allocated if it is a 16 bit compiler, if it is a 32 bit compiler, what are the range of values will be stored and also I have discussed what is the format specify. I hope you have watched that video and even I have discussed about the char. If you still did not watch that video, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video so that you will understand the concepts in a better way. In this video, I want to discuss about the float which allows you to store the real constants. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. So the float is able to store the real constants. The real constants will be in the form of mantissa e exponent okay is it clear mantissa e and exponent now the float okay is again classified into three types such as float double and long double okay is it clear if it is a 16 bit compiler how much memory will be allocated if it is a 32 bit compiler how much memory will be allocated for each one we will discuss if it is a 16 bit compiler it will allocate 4 bytes meaning is the 32 bits of memory will be allocated for the variable if you are using a data type called float in a 16 bit compiler if it is a 32 bit compiler it will be 4 bytes only if it is a double and if it, you are using a 16 bit compiler, it will allocate a memory of 8 bytes. Okay. For this one, it will allocate a memory of 10 bytes long double. Is it clear? If you are using a double and you are using a 32 bit compiler, it will be 8 bytes. And this one will be 16 bytes, meaning is that 128 bytes, oh sorry, 128 bits of memory will be allocated this will be 64 bits this will be 32 bits and here it is 80 bits because one byte is nothing but 8 bits are you able to understand so this is the memory will be allocated now you can ask me what is the range of values you can store if it is a float if it is a double and if it is a long double I will discuss with respect to the 16 bit compiler you can go and search for the 32 bit compiler okay so if it is a float I am talking with respect to the 16 bit compiler okay you can store 3.4 e minus 38 to 3.4 e plus 38 this is the range of values you can store if you are using a float data type in the 16 bit compiler if you are using the double okay you can store values of 1.7 e minus 308 to 1.7 e plus 308 okay this is the range of values you can store if you are using a long double you can store the values within the range from 3.4 e to okay minus 4932 to 4.3.e plus 4932 this is the range of values you can store for the float double and long double in a 16 bit compiler now you can ask me one thing sir you told you how much memory will be allocated what is the range of the values will be allocated can you tell me the format specifier whenever i am using the float double and long double if you are using the float the format specifier will be percentage f if you are using the double it will be percentage 
small l small f okay if you are using the long double the format specifier you should specify it as capital l and small f so this is the format specifiers you should use whenever you are using the float double and long double so this is about the float and void i will discuss whenever i am discussing the functions okay so this is about the data types now let me give you the entire table for the 16 bit compiler and 32 bit compilers what is the memory will be allocated and what is the format specifier you should use okay so i request everyone to please note down this table so that it will be very easy for you to revise the concepts before the exam now let me discuss we have the int for the int we have the signed int first let me discuss signed short int okay signed short int unsigned short int we have another one is that signed int okay unsigned int okay we have the signed long int unsigned log int this is about the int we have the signed char we have unsigned char we have the float double and long double okay if you are using a 16 bit compiler if you are using the 32 bit compiler what is the memory will be allocated we will discuss now and then i will even write the format specifier okay is it clear anything else we have missed okay now if it is a short int if it is a 16 bit compiler you will allocate a memory of one byte whether it is a signed or unsigned, it will be one byte memory only. For a signed int, integer will occupy two bytes. Long int will occupy four bytes. Char always will be one byte. Okay. Float will be four bytes. Double will be eight bytes. And long double will be ten bytes. Okay. If it is a 32 bit compiler, the short int will be occupying 2 bytes, int will be occupying 4 bytes, long int will be occupying 4 bytes, character will be 1 byte, okay, float will be 4 bytes, double 8, long double 16 bytes, okay. So this is the memory allocation. Now let me discuss the format specifier. Whether it is a 16-bit compiler or 13-bit compiler, the format specifier will be depend on what data type you are using. The memory will only depend on what compiler you are using. Okay. If it is a signed short int, you should remember it as for short int, it is percentage %h. Okay. But if it is a signed, you should write d. For unsigned, you should write u. You can remember like unsigned u and u like that you can remember and in short signed means d okay is it clear if it is signed int percentage d unsigned int percentage u for long int l is there so l d unsigned l u for a signed char it is percentage small c for unsigned it is capital c okay is it clear float it will be percentage f for double it will be percentage small l small f for a long double it is capital l small f so this is about the various data types their ranges and the format specified 
If you still have any doubts related to this concept, don't worry. In the next video, I will discuss if it is a signed int. What is the signed int? It can store the both the negative numbers and the positive numbers. If it is an unsigned int, only you can store positive values. But if you are intentionally, suppose let's take that what my point is that you have written unsigned int a. Okay, unsigned int a. Unsigned meaning is that you are storing only positive values. But you have initialized a value, okay, or you have assigned a value minus 1 to it. Then what will happen? All these things we will discuss in the next video. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.